morning class nice today we are back and today we are again going to understand expression point 2 okay we'll do some questions together in this video that is all come on in class to help you guys understand the other questions okay i won't be able to do all the questions and i really don't want to do all the questions for you guys and spoon feed you i think you guys are good enough and intelligent enough that you guys can do rest of the questions on your own so that's why i'm not doing some examples over here on the board for you guys i am doing some questions out of exercise 2.2 so that they can help you in other questions to do okay so if you guys see in this question question number 23 you are you can understand it's question number 23 from exercise 2.2 The name of the chapter is compound interest. In what time? So it means I have to find time solution. Okay, I have to find time with rupees one five two five one five six two five amount of rupees is now. In what time? It means rupees seventeen thousand. Okay, I'm just directly saying fifteen thousand rupees. Cup seventeen thousand rupees will be. Okay, so means principal is one five six two five. And my amount is equal to one seven five seven zero. That's seven zero, I guess. Seven six. At the rate, at the rate four percent. So what is rate? Rate is four percent per annum. Okay. Four percent per annum compound. Now you can see there are several things given to be here on this. in this question so you know that if i see all the things that are given and not given there is only one formula that i am going to apply that is amount equals to b 1 plus r upon 100 m right i hope you guys are understanding this now amount i know that is 17576 equals to b 15625 1 plus r r i n that is 4 Four hundred, and I have to find n. I have to find n. This is the time that I have to find. Okay. I hope you guys are going with me. So I just kept this formula, and uh, only one thing is not given. Rest of all the things are given to me. So this is getting multiplied by this. So I'm going to leave this alone and bring it down to here. One seven five seven six over one five six two five equals to. Hundred and four over hundred m. Okay, I'm writing it over here now. So if you guys see one seven five seven six over one five six two five equals to this can be cancelled out. Okay, you can cancel the amount and bring in the lowest term. So the lowest term that's going to come is twenty six over twenty five to the power n. Can I, can I, you know, simplify more this further? This fraction, no, I can't. Whenever this kind of question comes, I can tell you or assure you this one thing. Whenever you have time, you know, you have easy questions. So the exam is not there. Whenever you have time, you know, then you have to always remember that here it is 26 upon 25, right? But I don't know how many times it is. तो आप ट्राई कर सकते हो आप ट्राई कर सकते हो ट्वेंटी सिक्स इंटू ट्वेंटी सिक्स कितना होता है और फिर इंटू ट्वेंटी सिक्स अगर नहीं आएगी तो फिर एक और बार ट्वेंटी सिक्स से करो नहीं आया फिर एक और बार ट्वेंटी सिक्स से करो बट आई नो कि ये जो नंबर है ये ट्वेंटी सिक्स इंटू ट्वेंटी सिक्स इंटू ट्वेंटी सिक्स से आता है मतलब ट्वेंटी सिक्स को कितनी बार करना पड़ेगा थ्री बार ओके और ट्वेंटी फाइव बार करो थ्री बार करो ठीक जाएगा ओके सो इक्वल्स ट्वेंटी सिक्स ओवर ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड What is common in both the powers? Three. So 26 over 25. 3 equals to 26 over 25. And so I can cancel. I, I mean I don't have to cancel. If I compare, I know the n value and is three. So time is three years. Maybe you guys didn't understand over here. I have done something. Yeah, this this whole question is just a calculation. If you are doing, when you are n, you know. What are the answers basically? आप जब भी एन बोलोगे जो ही ब्रैकेट के अंदर है वही से पहले सिंपलेस्ट फॉर्म में लेके आना एंड देन यू नो कि जो सिंपलेस्ट फॉर्म है ऊपर वाले की ये इसमें आ जाएगा इसके लेवल में आता होगा ठीक 
इसकी डेवलपमेंट जो हमारे साथ आता हो 26 इन 26 करो नहीं आ रहा फिर से 26 से करो तो 26 के कितने बाद 3 बार और 25 को 3 बार ये आएगा ब्रैकेट के बाहर लगा ला दो दोनों इक्वेशन की साइड्स को कंपेयर करो यू विल फाइंड दैट n is equal to 3 ओके okay? दैट्स हाउ यू विल बी डूइंग दिस क्वेश्चन एंड देयर आर मेनी मोर क्वेश्चंस इन दिस एंड देयर आर डिपेंडेंट ऑन हाउ टू फाइंड टाइम और n ओके दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर 26 फ्रॉम एक्सरसाइज 2.2 and uh, we'll be doing question number 26 i'll be reading it out for you guys what sum will amount to rupees 2782.50 in two years maine kisi ko 2782 rupees ya 82 rupees diye in kitne saal ke liye do saal ke liye diye compounded interest okay kiske saal ke liye simple interest ke saal ke liye compound interest ke saal se if the rate are 5% to 6% There was the third formula uh, in the previous video that I told you guys, right, When different rates are given, then you have to put different brackets. But what is given to me in this question? I will be writing it down, and what I have to find in this question. So solution is equal to P is not given. What sum? I don't know. Sum I don't know. Principal I don't know. What sum will amount to? Amount is now there. What the amount is that? In time is two years. Okay, and the rates are five percent and six percent. Okay, so you know which formulas we need to apply. We need to apply A equals to B one plus R one upon hundred and one plus R two upon hundred. This is the formula that we be applied. Now amount is already given to me. That is two seven eight two point five zero. Equals to what is principal? I don't know. I have to find principal. One plus five upon hundred. One plus six upon hundred. You guys all agree with me, right? Now, if you ask me this question, what is this question? Because you have to find out what is it. Sometimes the amount of principal in between is very confusing. But if you read the question again and again and again, and if you put in a lot of hard effort in there, you will be able to understand. Principal is not given, and amount is given. Okay, so if I solve this bracket two seven eight two point five zero, and this is going to be hundred and five over hundred. Is that okay? And then when you cancel it out, you can cancel them out as twenty one p into twenty one over two. Okay, you take that there. Into this is going to be hundred and six. So hundred and six. Over 100. This is going to become 50 plus. This is going to become 53. So 53 over 50. Okay. Now what I will do? I will see everything on one side. Two, seven, eight, two, five, zero. Which I am putting 100. Why I am putting 100? Because I took the decimal point from here into 21 into 53. Into twenty into fifty equals to b. Now you can cancel out whatever you want. You guys can cancel out this, this, and then this zero, and this zero. You'll be amazed to see that twenty one and fifty three can divide this, and your answer will be twenty five hundred. What is principal? If you cancel this out, we out you'll get that principal is twenty five hundred. What I am trying to say कि पहले amount twenty five hundred आपने किसी को दिया था दो साल बाद वही amount आप जो simple है compound interest के साथ देंगे वो twenty seven hundred eighty two हो गया ठीक है मतलब दो सौ two eighty two चार बढ़ा के दिया होगा क्योंकि उसने मतलब नहीं किया इससे दिया है पैसे ठीक है so my principal is two five zero zero that's my principal and please don't forget to write the units units are very important please do write the units Okay, we'll see one last uh, question from this exercise. That is exercise two point two, and that is question number thirty two. Uh, this is one of the last questions, and it's not the very end question, but second last or third last question that we'll be doing. And why I'm doing this because there are so many questions that are also uh, connected to this. And if you guys solve this, then you'll be able to understand the questions as well. I'll read the question for you guys. Okay, you guys read it with me as well. Find the difference between compound interest on 
this uh, this is principal this is time this is rate per annum then compound in annually and semi annually so if you what do you guys understand about this question you guys write it down pause the video try understanding if you continue looking at the video it might not help you guys but just just give two minutes to yourself and try understanding what you guys and write it down whatever you guys understand what this question or after reading this question go ahead try okay anyhow i'll also try for you guys so i have to find difference between annually and semi annually okay annually and semi annually and what is principal given to me this one okay so i'll find amount first amount equals to p 1 plus r upon 100 and so what is p given to me a is equals to 8000 1 plus r is 10 upon 100 into 1 और एक और ब्रैकेट लगा दो जो 1 एंड 1/2 होता है तो जब 1/2 होता है तो क्या करना है यहां देख लो आप लोग क्या करोगे 1 plus 5 upon 100 तो जो 1 एंड 1/2 था ये एनुअली के लिए कर रहा हूं 1 साल के लिए पर 1 साल तो पूरा है पर आधे साल के लिए फिर आधे साल में आए तो आधा नहीं लिख सकते यहां पे 1 ही लिखना पड़ता है इसके लिए रेट को आधा कर देते हैं ओके आप रेट को आधा कर दो क्योंकि यहां फ्रैक्शन नहीं जा सकता तो जब मैं इसको सॉल्व कर रहा हूं तो मेरे पास क्या आ रहा है 8000 11 10 इफ यू सॉल्व दिस यू गेट 11 अपॉन 12 इफ यू सॉल्व दिस यू गेट 21 अपॉन 20 यू कैन सॉल्व इट आउट ओके एंड देन आई कैंसिल दिस आउट दिस आउट 20 एंड 20 फ्रॉम हियर सो 80 11 21 यू विल बी गेटिंग 9240 दिस इज अमाउंट तो आपको पता है कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट क्या होगा ए माइनस बी तो आपको ए पता है 9240 टू माइनस प्रिंसिपल क्या है एट थाउजेंड तो आपके पास कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट कितना आ जाएगा वन टू फोर जीरो बनी सब लगता है ओके लेट्स लुक सेमी एनुअल सेमी एनुअल में सब कुछ का चेंज होगा जगह जगह सो फॉर्मूला सेम लगेगा बट हम क्या करेंगे अब आप अमाउंट इक्वल्स टू एट थाउजेंड वन प्लस रेट आधा हो जाता है रेट क्या हो जाता है आधा हो जाता है कब आधा हो जाता है जब हम एसएमई एनुअली करते हैं और जो टाइम होता है मैं कैसे कहता हूँ अब वो हाफ डेली में एसएमई एनुअली मतलब हाफ डेली में आ गए तो छः छः और छः कितने बार है तीन बार है वन एंड हाफ में आप भी कैलकुलेट कर सकते देख सकते हो इक्वल्स टू एट थाउजेंड वेन यू सॉल्व दिस यू गेट 21 upon 20, three, and then amount is equals to 8000 into 21 upon 20 into 21 upon 20 into 21 upon 20. You guys can see very carefully this, this, this three zero and three zero get cancelled out from one, and then eight to eight can get cancelled out. So what is left? 21 into 21 into 21. So that is nine to ओके, सो आपका कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट कितना आ जाएगा जब आप प्रिंसिपल से माइनस करेंगे वन टू सिक्स वन अब आपको डिफरेंस ढूंढना था इस एनुअली एंड सेमी एनुअली के बीच में डिफरेंस ढूंढना था तो जब आप ग्यारह कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट करोगे और ग्यारह डिफरेंस मतलब माइनस करोगे तो आपके आंसर वन आएगा ओके सो डिफरेंस इक्वल्स टू सी आई टू माइनस सी आई वन That is going to be twenty one rupees twenty one. Okay, so that's how you will solve. But try reading the question again and again so uh, so that you guys can understand what is the question trying to say. Okay, I hope you guys are able to time understanding these topics or three questions. Please do these question questions in your notebooks as well. And until then, bye bye. See you. Take care.